A vigorous storm has moved across much of the province and is bringing with it massive amounts of snow. Environment Canada says this storm has been tricky to forecast and is also causing winter troubles pretty active pattern and we've seen a few Pacific low pressure systems kind of move in and bring lots of precipitation to many parts of the province. It's also been tricky because there's been some warm air with some of them as well and where we're seeing different phases of precipitation including snow and rain and mild temperatures. Interior valleys are receiving warm and windy conditions while the Kootenai and Columbia areas are receiving lots of snow. Kind of a mixed bag. A high danger rating has been issued by Avalanche Canada for much of the province. The latest storm has been quite vigorous and it's bringing heavy amounts of snow and moderate to even strong winds to the region. This is expected to continue through the day today into tomorrow before tapering off as we get into the weekend. And so as all this new snow and wind has swept into the province, you've seen avalanche danger rise across the province. And we've got high almost everywhere at almost all elevation bands. And very simply, that means that very dangerous avalanche conditions exist. And so at this time, we're really not recommending travel in avalanche train. Trans-Canada Highway is closed between Revelstoke and Golden and is expected to remain closed until 8 p.m. on Thursday large avalanches in many areas. Can I think about like avalanches to size three? How big is a size three avalanche? Well, a size three avalanche, if you were to put a pickup truck in the middle of the avalanche path, have that avalanche come down, it's going to crumple that pickup truck. So very large avalanches with a lot of destructive power. A total of 100 centimeters could fall on Highway 1. Especially through Rogers Pass, uh, we've got winter storm warning in effect there. You know, we've received up to 40 centimeters already through Rogers Pass and more to come. You know, we're looking at actually another 50 centimeters possible in the next day and a half. So tons of snow for them. Highway 10 will get another 10 to 20 centimeters of snow today and up to another 20 centimeters tonight. The Coquihalla Highway is expected to receive 10 to 15 centimeters tonight. Now a break will come on Friday, but another storm is expected on Saturday. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly in Kelowna.